Morning everybody, this is Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. All we have here is some little items to clean up, a few pallets, some barrels full of something. Well, one barrel is full of something that we can't budge. But otherwise, we got clean, dry dirt. We're going to run a magnet over this and pick up any staples and nails and metal that may have fallen out. And this land is ready to use here. This is all cleaned up. We've got some scrap metal haulers going to come and get the metal. Um, my, trunk, my truck yesterday just, I uh, broke the, I was on a rough dirt road and the um, gas tank strap fell off and the gas tank dropped. So uh, the truck's out of commission for a couple days. I got to order some parts. Well, anyway, um, we're going to have some scrappers come in and haul the metal. We've got uh, some lumber that we're going to sort out. I've got projects that that's going to fix my trailer. That's the deck of my trailer I'm going to rebuild. Some gardening materials right there up in my orchard. That's cement block pieces. That's great for that. And some mixed metals. We're going to have the scrappers come in because we just need this done. And we got bigger money to make on the lumber mill and my small engine shop. So uh, that's going to be uh, way more valuable than handpicking all this stuff. You have to handpick and sort and uh, you know the type like metals and strip off. To increase the value you got to strip off any wood or any different metal from different metals and the scrappers know what I'm saying but anyway you got to clean it and sort it. I mean it's just not worth it for us right now. But people that do this for a living and they got heavy equipment to move it and there's bigger stuff than this. There's huge, huge uh, piles of scrap metal out on the land so we're just gonna get rid of it here's where the money is gonna be for us right here guys oh the machines that's going home I'm gonna take that one home that's a uh, MTD it had a five horse but somebody put an eight horse on it and I'm gonna take that and use it for us because we do use them a lot and this is a little bit bigger for our needs and I'm going to sell the green one. Remember that green one that was uh, with a white engine that was seized up solid and I got it running? I'm still using it, what, three years later? And it uh, works great. But it's a little smaller. This is bigger. I'm going to run this one at home and sell that one. Always improving what we have and sell the rest. We're going to mow the grass out here. And I'm going to straighten out the uh, lawnmowers. I've got garden tractors galore out in here. Uh, the campers I'm not dealing with right now and we've got tractors and trucks and everything else out here There's a mixture of machines from different people here. You might hear Chris's voice They're all working on an old mill right now and uh, Well right now we're gearing up to get ready for business and all these machines are mine And I'm gonna start getting them ready for sale. So we're gonna clean this place up mow the grass and uh, I got a forklift I'm fixing up. Maybe I'll do some video on that. And I'm going to bring that over here so I can more easily move these around and line them up neatly in a row. And uh, pull out only the ones I want to work on. Now I bought these sheds. If you may remember from my one video, I bought all these. And uh, that trailer's mine. Little trailer's very convenient for hauling stuff around. Today I'm cleaning stuff and getting the garage sale out of here. I'm cleaning up, I'm getting everything put away, and we're gonna run the garage sale, or get rid of the garage sale, and start using this shed for um, working on machines and equipment as it was meant to be. So, we're getting uh, ready. There's my trailer. Some of you may remember that with the crane on it. I'm gonna put new boards on it. One of the few things I saved from the mobile home is the boards that I'm gonna use on that. One of the few things I saved from the mobile home is the boards from the flooring, the 2x6s, which I'm going to replace those with. And I'm cleaning that up right now and I'm going to strip it down. And because the, uh, the uh, crane fell through the floor the last time I was hauling some heavy logs with it. So it's time to restore that, get new tires on it, clean it up, and uh, we're going to run it. I got the, uh, I'm working on the trailer, I got the crane off. And I don't have my tripod, so I don't know if I'd show you. I mean, it's nothing exciting. I'm just turning bolts. But I'm taking the planks off here. And they were pretty bad, as you can see. 
that's why the crane broke through so I'm taking all the, the planks off and then I'll have to strip down the 2x6's uh, from, the, from the mobile home and clean them up so I can put them on here now these are true 2x6's and uh, those ones are commercial 2x6's so this had one, two, three, six, seven two by sixes and a two by eight, but I end up, I might end up coming out with uh, instead eight or nine uh, two by sixes, commercial two by sixes. So we'll see how that goes. But I'm just I'm doing these bolts. I got two more to go on this side, and then I'll rip off all that end, and then uh, I'll have the planks off. Well, I got it stripped down. It's old, but the frame is still stable. I'm probably going to put, they got a piece of big old angle iron here. And I'm probably going to put some angle iron, uh, not angle iron, a flat bar iron somewhere in the middle, two pieces, to help support the load. Because we're looking at hauling a uh, cord of firewood with this at a time in log form and that's 3,000 pounds and uh, I'm gonna well the load I got I was quoted 3,000 pounds what I'm gonna start hauling so I need to reinforce this a little bit now he said he used to haul a cord cord and a half of, of logs with this back in the day so we'll see how it goes but I'm gonna reinforce it it's seen better days but it's still solid this is that one I bought a couple years ago. You guys might remember that. And I've hauled logs with it. Well, anyway, it's lunchtime now. So here I am working on the trailer. These are the 2x6s from the, the mobile home. And I need to get all the nails out. Staples. That's the problem with reclaimed lumber. There's so much. Oh, so much work in repairing it. Well, that's weird. Well, then. Aluminum. I don't care one way or another. Where they go? Cleaning it takes a while. There's another one. I got two stripped and cut to size. That's all I did. They're just sitting on there. get the idea it takes a few minutes to strip each of these I won't bore you with me struggling with each nail
No, my batteries are getting tired. So it is what it is. When you hear it run, they're getting tired. Something about this is hard lumber. It's treated with something. It's really hard, hard to cut. Another problem is that they're not straight. I'm gonna have to put pressure on these to line them up. I guess some gaps is not gonna hurt a thing. They don't have to be flush, but. We'll see how it goes. That one's warped pretty bad. The long, the, on the length of it. So we'll see how it looks when I get all the boards cut to fit this. See how many boards it's going to take too. And then I'm most likely putting reinforcing. See these, uh, the cross bracing and frames on this trailer, they're taking some hits through the years. It's an old, old trailer. And I'm probably going to put some some metal reinforcements under there and some 2x6 cross bracing, especially under the, um, the lift. For extra strength on that. Getting there, I think I got four left to go. I'm just slow going with all the nails, staples, junk. don't want to come out very well. I think I'm cutting that much off. Get a check. last cut went through pretty nice. There's something in this wood that's binding. I don't know what, but it's binding on the saw blade. Uh, it's got some treatment in it. See, that one went. Same battery. That one cut nicely. Looks like I got three more. Gonna be a nice looking deck. Huh, I'll probably paint the trailer eventually too. Extend its life. Well, it's too short for another. I 
and it's about three inches so it'd be about half a board now I could overhang I can cut another board and overhang an inch and a quarter on each side I measured it um, and I could cut notches for the side rails to fit through I'm probably gonna end up doing it that way the more the better the more meat on that trailer the stronger it's gonna be anyway but it's dinner time so I gotta go I'll cut the last one tomorrow and bolt them on I bought all the hardware I needed so tomorrow should go quicker hopefully well anyway there we are fixing up my old trailer rebuilding an old old heavy-duty wood hauling trailer well thanks for watching everybody please like subscribe and share and follow our hopefully soon to be daily videos when we get internet going as we strive to become fully self-sufficient and off the grid on a budget talk to y'all later